I guess around, let's see, 1990, I was looking for a job. And uh, one of the places I interviewed was HP Labs in uh, Silicon Valley. And I distinctly remember uh, whoever it was, the general manager was interviewing me. He's looking at my resume and he said, well, let's see, you, you worked at Bell Labs on microprocessors and they're not in that business anymore, are they? And then you went to a startup called Three Rivers Computer and they're dead, aren't they? And then you went to uh, Multiflow and they're out of business, aren't they? How much would I have to pay you to go work at IBM? And I said, very funny. I mean, it's, it's, it's you know, if you, if you take on startups, the odds are pretty much not in your favor. Um, but if you want to get into a high energy, high learning, um, uh, never to be repeated kind of a mode, uh, that's the way to do it. And I, and I think it's easier when you're younger than when you get older. I would encourage everybody to consider it, you know, for at least once or twice in your career. It's because you just learn a lot. It's the thing I liked about it the most was there was no baloney associated with it. You, there's no corporate bureaucracy to work around. Uh, it's it's you know all of your strengths are brought way out, and some of your weaknesses are too. And you have to fill out you know fill up the weaknesses with your people around you, and make sure that your strengths are brought to play. And uh, I just really like that environment. And I you know it, and but that's that's where some of my failures have come from. By the way, those failures are what informed what I was able to do at Intel for the next 11 years after that. It's, you know, th that's the things you learn when you have failed, it's something you tried really hard at, just stick with you. They're, they're uh, immovable after that.